Shed, one of the brewers over at Adnams. And we're here today to talk about past condition beer, which is beer that leaves the brewery and isn't finished. So we rely on the publicans that we work with to, to finish that off in the cellar for us. So we'll go down into the cellar here and have a look at how to treat the beer from delivery right up to the point of service. So it's now 24 hours after the beer's been delivered. Uh, the temperature's um, about 12 degrees now. Um, we just need to make sure that the, the shine and the keystone are clean. So for that, we just use um, a bit of food grade sanitizer and just gently wipe the, the shine and the keystone out, make sure there's no dirt or debris from what I've got in there from, from when it was on the truck or being delivered. So now we just need to um, get the yeast that's been settled in the bottom of the cask back up into suspension. Just to, uh, so we just roll around gently, um, and that will allow the yeast to fully digest all the sugars and get the good uh, secondary conditioning that cask beer is all about. So we've got two types of pegs that we use in the cellar. We've got the soft peg and the hard peg. We use the soft peg, first of all, because that allows the excess CO2 to be vented out, along with some other off flavours. Um, we need to get rid of that CO2 so that we don't have beer that's too lively when it gets to the bar. Um, we then replace the soft peg with the hard peg, and that will prevent too much CO2 escaping and also stop air going to it, because air is detrimental to the beer quality. We've, we've wrapped the beer onto the stillage. It's now sat nice and secure. We need to put the soft peg in the top. So one fell swoop. So we're replacing the soft peg now. It's nice and dry, there's no bubbling. We've taken out, put the hard peg in, finger tight. So we've got the hard peg in now. We're starting a, a, a timer for three days. Um, what we can do at this stage is put the tap in, ready for service, um, and that's quite straightforward. So here we've got uh, two beers. One has just been tapped and hasn't matured for three days. You can see it's still got a bit of a, a haze to it, it's still a bit cloudy. This one here is the same beer, but three days later, nice and bright. This, I think, is ready to be served up at the bar. So it's been three days now. We're ready to serve the beer. We're happy that it's clear and nicely carbonated. So we attach the beer line. Nice and tight. Open the tap. We need to replace the hard peg at the top um, with a soft peg. And that allows us to pull the beer up to the bar without causing a vacuum. It also allows air in, which is now why we've only got around 48 to 72 hours to serve this entire barrel of beer. This is 72 pints. So we're ready now. We've got the beer connected up in the cellar. We've got the tap open. We need to pull it up. So we just take a glass. Pump it through the engine, and we should see a beautiful, nicely carbonated, crystal clear pint of cask ale. 